Thank you, Terry, for joining us on our show. I'm glad doing this over Zoom is working out so well. Hi, uh, thanks for uh, inviting me on the show today. Oh, anytime. So what inspired you to write She's Got a Heart Like Mine? I guess She's Got a Heart Like Mine uh, wrote the song with Thad Christopher. Uh, we were writing songs together at the time. He was uh, just recently got signed to a uh, publishing production deal, and we had to write songs for his project. Uh, I came up with the title. I was sort of messing around with a, kind of a feel and a groove. Uh, kind of, I'm a melody guy, so uh, came up with the title, She's Got a Heart Like Mine, started working on it. And I started thinking about uh, one of the things that I look for in a woman is uh, what kind of heart does she have? Uh, is she uh, understanding, empathetic, compassionate? Of course. And uh, we uh, ended up doing a guitar vocal on it. Uh, he was working with Keith Olsen at the time, who produced Swoop and Mac and a bunch of different uh, rock artists. Oh, okay. And uh, I decided to uh, re-record it and put it out myself as an artist. What kind of success did you make with She's Got a Heart Like Mine as an independent artist? I had, had a lot of success uh, with She's Got a Heart Like Mine, actually. I hadn't put a song out in quite a while. And uh, so I, uh, I really been thinking a lot about that song and got together uh with um with some folks here in nashville and and put together i'm a big beetle fan and um uh and country of course too and decided to uh to kind of give it a kind of a country pop sort of flavor anyway that worked well because uh um got a great response from uh put it out to radio did some independent radio promotion on the song and uh, uh, got it on a, uh, with a network called Independent Music Network. And the song charted in the top five, uh, which was pretty cool. And that had been the first song that I'd had out in quite a long time. Uh, as a writer, you know, I've had a lot of success with other people uh, recording songs oh, I've written like or co-written. But I hadn't put anything out on myself in quite a while. So uh, it, was a, it was a fun trip, fun journey to, to be on. And how did you begin your music career? I began my uh, music career uh, <laughs> at a pretty early age. And actually, I was on the radio uh, when I was five. Uh, did my first solo. So <laughs> I got the bug early. So through the years, you know, music's always been really important to me. It's been a part of my life and uh, how I express myself. And, and I knew my mom loved me because... Uh, she let us rehearse down there. <laughs> so through the years, you know, music's always been really important to me. It's been a part of my life and uh, how I express myself emotionally and spiritually. I have a man of faith. I believe in the Lord. Um, and actually, I've gotten a lot of good ideas from him as well. <laughs> so uh, a lot of the songs I co-wrote with Jesus. And how did you begin your music career? I guess uh, I've been involved about 30 years or so, I got to Nashville in 1988 and started meeting people, publishers, started pitching songs uh, that I wrote. I was a little more pop oriented than country, but I learned to love country uh, through writing with a lot of the writers I worked here. I also got involved in uh, production and publishing, working for a guy named Ron Cornelius, uh, working with Bob Dylan and Leonard Cohen, a lot of, a lot of big, writer, big artists from back then. Had a lot of success and he taught me a lot through, he basically just opened the door for me and it sort of let me listen to songs and I found songs for him and, you know, and had good success with that, with getting songs cut by Faith Hill and other artists. And what advice would you give for upcoming songwriters and upcoming artists? What, uh, what I would tell uh, young writers and artists, uh, never give up, never quit. If you have a dream in your heart, follow it. And, uh, don't ever tell it, let anybody tell you if you've got the talent that you can't do it. Uh, have faith, uh, faith in yourself and faith in people, faith in the good Lord. And there really is nothing you can't do. I've had a lot of success I had uh, uh, along the way. I feel like I'm still getting started. So what I would tell writers, if I was sitting in front of them right now, I'd tell them to dream big, never give up, never quit. Uh, learn from others. Oh, I'm sure. Don't be afraid to uh, be rejected because you have a lot of rejection in the music business. Keep at it. Work on your craft. Write with other writers better than you are. That's definitely something that I learned a lot from. 
uh, people that I respected and I got an opportunity to write with them and I found out that that I could go toe to toe with them at, <laughs> over the years. It took a while because, you know, when you first write your first song, uh, you think it's the best thing since sliced bread, but it really isn't. <laughs> Uh, but when you get to Nashville, you really get to know uh, how to write and craft songs. Yeah, it's, you're still learning with it. And then you uh, look look at life, look at your life, look at experiences uh, you've been through, look at other people's experiences, and write real yeah. songs. Well, that makes sense, totally. And it's a good lesson for everybody out there listening, looking to get a start in the business. Because if you write real songs, you'll touch people. And that's what I love to do in, in writing. I'm a storyteller. I love to write songs uh, about real life. Now, before we go, do you have any new music coming out? Yeah, when you, uh, I actually do have um, a, a new song that uh, I've been working on the last few months. Uh, with all the uh, coronavirus and all the, uh, the things going on. Actually, interesting enough, uh, it's called Find the Stars. And uh, I wrote it with uh, two other friends of mine, Margaret Harris and... and uh, Jeremy Shield. We actually wrote it back in the 2013. I came up with the idea. I was watching a touch by an angel and uh, one angel was talking to the other angel and I said, what do you do when you walk through darkness? Well, you find the stars. I thought, whoa, man, I got to write that song. So anyway, I've been working on it, got it, got it produced that I'll be putting a single out uh, and probably sometime later this fall. Work some amazing uh, engineer, um, Jeff Silverman and uh, Dwayne Say, bass player, just amazing guys in the studio. Had a great experience uh, and we've got a killer song, so I can't wait for people to hear it. That sounds very exciting and it's very awesome that people soon are gonna be able to hear it. Thank you, Terry, for joining us. I had a lot of fun talking about your recent single and getting to learn about your success as an independent singer-songwriter. Well, thanks again for uh, having me on the show. Take care. After our show today, make sure to visit Terry Bell's website at musicthatringstrue.com. You will have everything you need to get updated on new shows, songs, albums, and video releases on his website. We will be right back, and Terry Bell will perform his recent single, She's Got a Heart Like Mine. Hi, this is Terry Bell with Clears Bell Music in Nashville. I want to thank you for inviting me on the show today. I'm doing a song I wrote with Thad Christopher, She's Got a Heart Like Mine. Uh, we had a top five independent country single chart last year, and I hope you enjoy the song. 